Hi everyone, this is your Lekkala Master Ruhara Gupal. In this video, let us discuss a problem from Italian Mathematics Olympiad which was given in the year 2001. And the reason behind choosing this problem for the discussion is, this problem was built on a normal 7th or 8th standard concept from our regular textbook. Even a 7th or 8th class student also can able to understand the concepts or the solution whatever it is behind this problem. That is the beauty of this problem from a normal textbook concept to the national level Olympiad problem. So that we have to understand behind this problem. Now without wasting time let me recall the question. A hexagon whose all the interior angles are congruent to each other. They did not mention it is a regular hexagon. Just they have given a hexagon whose all the interior angles are congruent to each other has four sides 5, 3, 6, 7 then what are the remaining two sides so innocently it is looking but actually not so before going for the solution we are supposed to recall some points that is if you take any n gone any n gone so sum of interior angles we know that n minus 2 of 180 so if it is hexagon if you replace a 6 in place of n 6 minus 2 of 180 which is nothing but 720 is the sum of all interior angles of hexagon according to this formula and as they have given all the angles are congruent to each other that means equals to each other if you want to find out each angle measure simply we can say n minus 2 of 180 whole divided by n which is nothing but 720 divided by 6 which is nothing but 120 so it means whatever the hexagon you are going to take in that hexagon each angle is equals to 120 and they have given four consecutive sides 5 3 6 7 and the remaining two sides were not given that what we are supposed to find out now without wasting time let me take a diagram like this i i call a b c t e f so this is a hexagon be clear it is not a regular hexagon why because even though angles are equal they have given four different sides as the sides of this hexagon so now as we took a b c d e f now let us take a b as 5 this is 3 6 7 let me take this as x and this as y so this is a hexagon and according to calculation whatever we got each angle is 120 let me mention that 120 degrees also in that given diagram so all the six angles are equals to 120 degrees four sides are 5 3 6 7 remaining two sides we are assuming as x and y and here how we are going to find out x and y is the thing the beauty of this problem is always we used to go for the different types of constructions within the diagram so in this particular problem we are supposed to think something beyond the diagram or beyond the hexagon whatever it is given us so usually we used to talk as think out of the box think out of the box so similarly here also we are supposed to think out of the diagram so as each angle is 120 if you extend any side in any direction the exterior angle is going to be 60 degrees right so the very first step what i am doing whatever the base we are seeing as ef i am extending ef in the both the directions so easily just assuming this one easily you can see this uh, if this is 120 this is going to be 60 similarly here also if it is in interior angle is 120 exterior angle is going to be 60 degrees so 60 60 okay now even the ab also i am extending in both the directions so let us suppose if the extension of ef and the extension of ab meet at some point p so observe carefully here as each exterior angle is equals to 60 and 60 angle p is also going to be 60 degrees why because according to angle some property of a triangle now as this part is x and this part is y for this equilateral triangle each side is going to be y y am i right and now coming to this one so we extended ef we extended ab and let us go with the extension of cd in both the directions so now you see clearly you can see all the three extensions whatever the lines we got they forms a triangle let us assume that p q r now observe this carefully this triangle so if it is 60 already we discussed and here also angle is going to be 60 degrees which is the exterior angle 
obviously whatever the triangle forming is going to be equilateral triangle for us similarly the topmost triangle also going to be equilateral triangle only now observe this carefully for this equilateral each side is going to be y y now for this triangle each side is going to be 3 as a side so 3 is the side of this equilateral and coming to this one each side is going to be 7 7 7 so clearly you can see the entire equilateral p q r and in any equilateral triangle as all the sides are equal we can simply say p q is equals to q r is equals to r p so just by substituting the values so once you see somewhere you can see the entire side of the equilateral so just equating the sides of the equilateral you are going to get x is equals to 1 and y is equals to 8 so my dear children which a simple equilateral triangle and the linear pair of angles only the two concepts were used in building of this question you are supposed to understand that beauty behind this problem so my dear children hope you enjoyed this problem we'll meet in the next video with other type of problems until then take care bye bye you are lekal master who